Welcome to the 18th part of the series. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in so long. I had computer problems, but that's all taken care of now. Um, before we begin, one, one little thing. In your run game loop method, uh, I made a small mistake. It should be total time plus equals all of this. So this line right here, make sure it's plus equals, not just equals. Okay. Um, then, uh, yes, so this video we shall implement a new system, the camera system. Um, now it will be very simple and very basic, but in the future we will again expand it. So you can begin by creating a new file. Choose to create a .cpp and a .h file. And name them camera system. Okay, um, so yes, uh, create the class, so class camera system uh, private and public uh, for the private and then include here. First off, include can include the um, the entity of H. Yeah, that's it. And then create so a private entity. And for now, we'll have a very simple class uh, entity, and you can in this underscore current camera. And that's it. Then this is a singleton class, so make sure to. Uh, create your constructor and destructor, so camera system constructor and camera system destructor both in the private interface then for the for our public interface uh, simply type um, entity s make sure it's a pointer so entity Entity get current camera and then entity and sorry void set current camera entity new camera and also our static destructor and constructor so simply type static uh, static get no sorry static camera system at get camera system and static void destroy camera system and that's it. Okay, I'll type all of these now in the implementation and then show it to you. Oh, actually, wait, yeah, great. Yeah, guys, sorry, this is the uh, SVP file. That was stupid. So, uh, so copy all of this, all but the include camera system.h. Wow, oh, genius. And then, no, no, no. Go to the camera system.h class and in here, Based all of this, so make sure this is in the camera system dot h class in dot h file. Then go to camera system dot cpp and yes, yeah, sorry, camera system dot cpp yes, and then I will type everything. So here you go. Our, our implementation is very basic. Our constructor, or I mean our get transitor. Quite simple, our empty constructor and destructor, and the um, singleton constructors. So the, the two static methods. Um, yeah, so yeah, make sure you don't forget the static word and um, yeah, that's it. And this asterisk is also important. Then go to entity.h and here you'll implement 
some more stuff. So you can simply add vector three, and we'll implement all of the um, essentially all of the vectors we need for the uh, look at function. So first off, we can begin by implementing the um, and just name this i vector, I guess i vector and then vector three up vector. Uh, yeah, then let's simply add our citrus and getters. So we just copy one of the last ones and get. get i vector 10 set i vector and new i vector and then again copy this for the up vector which we won't really use but no problem and up then let's implement um, these two methods again very simple stuff um, one last thing in your initialization list let's simply initialize these so underscore i vector make no, make vector 3 and with all zeros would be fine. So all zeros and um, the up vector. Make sure the y is here a one and like this. Okay. That's it then before we continue. In a future video, we will switch to a more component approach to our entity class, but for now let's go to our render system. And or actually no. Go to your game manager. And um Mm, or actually, no, never mind. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we will switch to a more, a more of a component system in the future. Uh, but for now, yeah. So go to your camera system page now, um, and include our uh, camera system H class. Wait, wait, where are we actually here? Yes, oh, I got that. Yes, go to our render system, I mean. Oh, yeah. Render system.h and include our camera system.h and create a new private file in this camera system uh, pointer underscore camera system. Now let's go to the render system CVP. And in here, let's initialize this in our initialization list. So comma camera system at camera system get camera system. Like this. Okay then. Um yeah, and again, go to your camera system. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, I mean, render system.h and add. And add a new entity also, and name this entity current camera. Like this. Then in render system.cpp. Um, Uh, make sure your 
underscore current so then yeah make sure that your camera system equals no ah make sure that your current camera so current camera wait why did it one second wait ah Render system of h yes yes it's not a method of course so yeah, it's a variable sorry for that so current camera is a variable now here current camera equals so this equals camera system get current camera and now I have a pointer to the current camera. Then in our runner method, we can do this. We can simply do underscore um, current camera and simply do get. This will be very long. I'll find this. Okay, so simply do this. Uh, I've simply put all of the values of our current camera in the glue look at function and uh, yeah that's it quite simple okay then uh, now go to your game manager dot h and let's uh, first of all let's include our camera system so include the camera system Mm -hmm. Camera system underscore camera system and also create a new entity and this will be our camera and it's a variable in the function. Yeah, then go to game manager .cpp. Um, initialize our camera system so camera system at <coughs> camera system get um, get camera system like this and it's also destroyed here yeah we should we will fix this next video camera system we should do, uh, really create all of our systems in our in our um, get key manager method but yeah um, destroy destroy camera system it's not really matter here at the moment mm -hmm. then uh, camera equals new entity and it's a camera, so we don't have to render it. So simply put a null for our release buffer and point the vector. Um, the position will be at the center, so zero, zero, zero. And um, and I'll simply do entity. I'm sorry, camera. Camera set. I vector make vector three to like um, one, one and two for the z. So this is the position where the camera is looking at, and <clears throat> and the up vector will default at uh, one zero uh, at at zero one zero. So we don't have to set that. Um, then in our <clears throat> game manager. We simply can now, well, first off, uh, first of all, yes, so underscore uh, camera system, we do set current camera and do camera. Now, if we run this, it will crash, and that's because, mm, well, that's why the order in which we create all of our subsystems is important so we will so we should really address that but for now 
Um, yes, for now. Um, yeah, what can we do? Um, go to render system SVP and move this, move this line. So move the current camera equals camera system dot get current camera inside of uh, inside of the render method. It's a temporary solution, really. So yeah, no problem. Then if you run this, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, uh, first off, switch these around. So uh, make sure the position is the one one two and the i vector is the zero zero. And uh, yeah, so now let me run this. Yes, uh, it works just as before. Um, but the benefit is now that we can play with this. We can, for example, give our camera a velocity now. So we can do uh, camera set velocity. And do something like make vector. I gave it uh, like let's give it the same velocity as our uh, as our cube. So what's that? Zero. What's zero five half. So oh, let's just copy this. Like this, and then. We also should then update our camera. So here, um, yeah, this is temporary code, of course. Um, no, camera. Yes, run this and um, we failed for some reason. What's this? Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> and oh, well, that's interesting. Um. Maybe you should like make it, or I don't know. Um, yeah, it's maybe let's just give it like the negative, um, the negative Z. It's, it doesn't really, or, or or let's make it a positive. Maybe that will give something of an effect. Not really. Um, maybe faster, like like this. Still nothing. Um. Well, yeah. I mean, you can play around for this. It will work. I'm um, saying so yeah, that was our camera system tutorial. Um. So the next uh, video we will will address our our. Uh, our small problem here and yeah and we'll go from there so see you next time bye a small thing if we comment out our uh, our velocity settings for the entity so for our cube um, I can actually show this much better so I have simply set the velocity uh, for the camera so yeah just some values and you can see it actually works quite nicely uh, if I Remove this one and this one's only the Z. Now the camera will move away from our um, from our cube like this. And we can add like an, uh, an up velocity to and you know that we will get like a nice effect. So now the camera is moving up but it is still looking at the cube. So yeah. Okay. <clears throat>